book 112. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the greatest historian ever. That's right, the greatest historian ever. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in a land with many mountains, there lived a man who was known as the greatest historian ever. This man, who was one of my ancestors no less, would spend his days inside of his home, waiting on the people to come and ask him questions. Every day, the people would stand before the man in long lines, and one by one, they would ask the man a question about the history of their nation or the history of the world. Most people would go to the man when no one else could give them an answer. No one knew how the man knew what he knew, but people would come from all around to question him. One day, a curious young man asked his parents how the man knew so much history, and they told him that they did not know. So, the young man decided to simply ask. Standing before the man one day, the young man said, Thank you for taking my question, sir. I would like to know this. Can you tell me the history of how you became the greatest historian ever? How do you know all that you know? The man smiled when he heard the question. It was the first time anyone asked him that. The man then invited the young man inside his home and he led him to a back room with a large box on the floor. After moving the box, the man revealed a large tunnel that led deep within the earth. The man explained that he found the tunnel on accident and he simply built his home over it. Deep within the tunnel, the man led the young man to a great and mighty library with more books than any man could number. In this library, the young man could see tiny spirits flying around swiftly, moving books and carrying scrolls. Along the walls, there sat several clones of a man in a cloak, thousands upon thousands of them. This is the library of Ampu, the man said, and those men in cloaks along the walls are documenting everything that is said, done, or thought by men. These men are indeed always watching you, from birth until death. I simply come down here and consult their scrolls in order to answer questions. The young man was shocked to learn that all of his deeds were being watched, and it caused him to change his behavior and do that which is good. He also told the others about the library of Ampu, and he convinced them to do good as well. And they all decided to do good because they did not want to be seen and recorded doing evil. And so, the morning motivation of the day is the greatest historian ever. Regardless of what you may think, there is always someone watching you. They are watching what you do, listening to what you say, and analyzing what you think. Because of this, we should strive to do good in life. We should not fill the scrolls of history with wickedness, evil, and deceit. If we do, someone will see our deeds one day and our names and our reputations will be made to stink before the people. It would be better to help those around you speak good words and think good thoughts. That way, your good will be an example for others. So today, go out and do good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.